Look, I know my whole gimmick online is being nostalgic about the things from my past, so that's not changing today. But recently, there's been this certain level of nostalgic itch that I have been needing to scratch. When recently going through and looking back on the Nickelodeon crossover Unite series and all that, it made me really have this flashback to the Nickelodeon computer games I used to play. And I'm not talking about the Flash games that you'd find on a website, I mean the weird CD-ROM games that you just had to have that probably weren't all that good, but fulfilled that childhood want to see your favorite cartoon characters at the same time doing various basic activities or things so weirdly out of their wheelhouse that it was just downright fascinating. From sports to the Nicktoons themselves singing, this was truly a time to be alive. So indulge me for a little bit as we look back at what made PC gaming unbeatable back in the day. That's right, I'm a real PC gamer. I play Nickelodeon CD-ROM games. Let's first start our trip down memory lane with Nickelodeon Toon Twister 3-D. Not 3-D, there's a dash there in the middle and you shall respect it. This one, like a few here on the list, are really like these activity games, where they are less like a playable game and more so a software emulator to do basic versions of cool things. For example, this game, which I use loosely, but it does have an ESRB rating so it's a game in the eyes of the law, you get to feel like an editor as you can splice together clips, sounds, and more to make Make your own cartoons. Released in the year 2003 is just a fun little editing game that gave you access to kids first Premiere Pro along with the tools for editing for dummies. Maybe this is where I found my love for editing and set me up for my entire future. But by gosh did I spend so much time playing this game back in the day, mixing and matching up random clips, creating my own Jimmy Timmy power hours except it would feature more than just Jimmy and Timmy. You were also given this very basic level of creating the dialogue said for the characters, but what was cooler was being able to have this USB microphone that you can plug in to use your own dialogue. If you're buying a microphone and are starting out with making content, please stop buying USB microphone period, especially Yeti. Whoa, just take, take it easy, man. man. While there's not a lot to say here about this one based on the nature of what it is, I just wanted to bring it up as I truly think this is where my editing and online content creation journey started. Thank you, Nickelodeon Toon Twister 3-D. You literally made me who I am today. But let's bring it from the editing timeline onto the court with Nicktoon's Basketball, which was released in 2004. Similar to the other team-up games I mentioned in my last video, outside of the US it was known as Spongebob Squarepants and Friends Basketball. But I mean you have all of these other great players on the court. It's not called LeBron James and the rest of the Lakers play basketball, they're just called the Lakers! And I know nothing about sports so I hope that analogy makes sense. But what was this game? Well that's not really the smartest question I've ever heard, it's a basketball video game featuring a bunch of Nicktoons characters. I love games like this that usually have nothing to do with with really anything, and we just shove a bunch of lovable properties in there for the fun of it. Like some games we aren't mentioning because they went beyond just the weird PC games like Nicktoons Party Blast and Nicktoons Racing, the original, the PS1 version. Those still kind of fit the same vibe here as the basketball game, since it was just some random gimmick to get all these characters involved. But when it comes to the amount of characters in a Nickelodeon based game, this one may just take the cake. Aside from having a bunch of courts to play on, there is a nice array of incredible characters to play as, or put on your team that truly makes it feel a lot more than just a standard group of Nicktoons being represented here. And aside from the standard pre-made teams, you can of course make your own along with a team name and the color jerseys that you want to wear. The gameplay is very basic from this point, but that's okay. Are you playing Nicktoons basketball for the best basketball simulator on the market? I sure hope not. You're playing this because what other game can you say Jenny XJ9 and Tack were shooting some hoops with Cindy Vortex and a slightly older Tommy Pickles? Yeah, exactly. There was an extra layer of gimmick to it that just made it feel more arcadey, and that's all thanks to these cards. Some of them were just helpful for the team overall, or some can be more specific to a character for them doing something cool, if you'd want to classify it as such. The game isn't great, but it has this level of charm to it that I just admire so much. Plus you can unlock printouts of various Nicktoons, and that's a great incentive. I love paper. <laughs> Wow, wow. Now, these next two are what sparked me to really want to make this video. The truest form of weird Nickelodeon PC gaming nostalgia that brings me back to a time where this was peak entertainment outside of watching cartoons or playing my console video games. Let's start with something I think you'd really like. Nick 
Nicktoons. Yeah, not Nicktoons, Nicktoons. Get it? Do you really? Do you know where we're going with this? Good, because yes, this was a musical-based recording blend of a game. I don't want to call it karaoke, but in Nicktoons, Nicktoons, you get an add-on USB microphone. Put that tweet away! And this game is just wild. Just look at all my singing and slightly dancing Nicktoons friends here. Ever wanted to see Hey Arnold spitting? Well, he truly does that here. Look at him go! But of course, he isn't the only one here. You'll have more characters from Hey Arnold, SpongeBob SquarePants, Rugrats, the Wild Thornberries, and even Rocket Power. The gameplay loop here has you singing into the mic along with the characters on screen, as well as various other modes of singing-based gameplay, and of course, the ability to distort and make your voice sound all funny. Which, by the way, why was that like the funniest thing to do and hear as a kid? Heck, why is it still funny nowadays? The track list belongs on Now That's What I Call Nicktoons Volume 10. I mean, Life in the City, Where Can Those Animals Be, Oh My Krabby Patty, He'll Be Boarding Down the Mountain. I mean, come on, these are the hits. Well, they're parodies of the hits, but still, this is everything I've ever needed in my life. I'd make my own music parody right now as a joke for you all, but I know how cringe that would be, and I don't feel like torturing you all just for a silly little bit. Wait for my album to drop if you want torture. Now, while we have looked at some incredible niche weird Nickelodeon PC games today, also I feel like I added at least three buzzwords to that sentence, there is one game left for us to look at. One that I feel I spent the most time with. One that I can still locate my CD for it to this day. The Nick click digital camera and CD-ROM game. Yeah, I know, you're all so excited, or have no idea what I'm talking about, but regardless, this was the game that truly started me on my path of making this video. Now, there isn't a lot to this last one here. It's very similar to the first thing we talked about, being more of a studio or program for you to work on creating whatever the heck you can in the space you're given. Here in this game, you are able to use this stylish camera and take real photos, so it feels like a gift with purchase. But you can connect the camera to the computer and upload the pics that you have taken to the game. From there, you can edit the photos, play games including your photos, make a mini movie with your photos, create printable posters, stickers, postcards, and even ID cards. Yeah, I'm sure they'll let you into the club with that. Maybe my Hot Wheels ID still works. It says it never expires. You can play with and set props and character pieces. Man, there are some really repressed memories here that make me feel so nostalgic. And I mean, look at this scuba guy here getting shocked by the eel. Okay, this is literally a weird moment for me that I'm not sure I asked to fully remember. Why is this burned in my brain? Why is this making me feel uncomfortable? Okay, well, that's fine. At least that's everything and the video's over. Oh no. What's this? nick o -matic Design Factory? Over 650 designs? Who has time for all of this? I mean, all it is is a bunch of pre-made projects, a bunch of graphics to make your own with. I mean, it's very cool and it's worth a mention here. But yeah, I, I'm too drained and too nostalgic traumatized for one video, so maybe I'll go and play this offline and create some really nice stickers or something to relax. Either way, I would love to hear about some niche PC CD-ROM games like this that you remember. Like the PC I Spy games or the Tonka PC games. All of them are are buried in the back of my brain, so maybe you'll have some deep memories of those games hidden back there for you as well. Let me know. Check out my previous video on the Nicktoons Unite series of video games for more Nickelodeon goodness, but thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Later.